Hey, welcome everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, tetralogy of Fallot. So, what is tetralogy of Fallot? What causes tetralogy of Fallot? What are the components of tetralogy of Fallot? The clinical features, the salient clinical features, key diagnostic features, key investigation features that we are going to discuss, and how do we ultimately manage tetralogy of Fallot? So, what is tetralogy of Fallot? Uh, tetralogy of Fallot is regarded as uh, the most common. a uh, cyanotic uh, disease so that is uh, the tetralogy of fallot it has four defects a uh, ventricular septal defect overriding of aorta pulmonary stenosis this is the most important uh, component and uh, pulmonary stenosis uh, often give rise to this right ventricular hypertrophy because of the pressure overload of right ventricle so here comes uh, the ventricular septal defect the obstruction to the right ventricular flow the aorta overriding the ventricular septal defect and uh, the right ventricular hypertrophy consequent to the right uh, outflow obstruction the cyanosis largely depends on degree of pulmonary valvular stenosis so this is the most important component in case of minimal pulmonary stenosis also known as pink tetralogy uh, you will see that the child is acyanotic do not have cyanosis because most of the unoxygenated blood enters the lung for oxygenation here uh, the pulmonary stenosis is a, will be of a minimal degree so cyanotic spell and uh, will be minimal because ventricular septal defect will also be quite uh, small quite trivial severe pulmonary stenosis it is uh, presented with the classical features the child is cyanotic cyanotic at birth and here uh, there will be larger vsd and majority of uh, the unoxygenated blood will pass through the right uh, ventricle into the left ventricle and to uh, to the aorta so the the child will have large number of cyanotic spells even after surgical correction 10% will be alive at 20 years and approximately around 3% will be alive at uh, 40 years the pathogenesis uh, the key feature is abnormal rotation of uh, the corneal trunk septum that is the top of the heart relative to the bottom of the heart that is interventricular septum or you can say that there is anterior superior displacement of the infundibular septum that uh, leads to uh, this uh, uh, classical features of tetralogy of fillard pressure overload of right ventricle this is this accounts for the right ventricular hypertrophy in classical cases uh, the the spells the cyanotic spells often happen after feeding crying or straining events and uh, there is a blue color uh, discoloration of the skin and mucous membrane that occur over uh, uh, first 2 to 3 years of life it is more common uh, during that period the child suddenly becomes blue and has difficulty in breathing due to severe hypoxemia physical exercises uh, causes uh, cyanosis uh, in this uh, patients so cyanosis will be more pronounced when there will be uh physical exercises some kind of activity will be uh, there so more of unoxygenated blood will pass through the systemic circulation but squatting position on the contradictory causes alleviation or decrease cyanosis squatting uh, it is believed to increase systemic vascular resistance so thereby uh, reducing the flow of unoxygenated blood uh, uh, into the circulation and transitorily causing reversal of the shunt so thereby decreasing the cyanosis here you can see uh, the blue uh, bluing uh, of uh, the mucous membrane the skin uh, of the chick and whereas the child uh, is compensated when the child assumes a squatting position so there's much of the cyanotic uh, events much of the cyanosis of the skin and mucous membrane disappear because of uh, this squatting position test x ray shows a boot shaped enlarged heart right ventricular hypertrophy will be there and auscultation uh, there is a dry diamond shaped uh, crescendo decrescendo murmur so crescendo decrescendo means in the murmur increases in intensity initially followed by gradual decrease in intensity that is known as crescendo decrescendo which mimics that of a diamond in uh, shape so it's a kind of a systolic murmur is seen so coming to the prognosis so many of the child are born with uh, compensatory shunts could be asd or pda so that uh, compensates for right to left shunt through vsd here left to right uh, shunt uh, uh, will occur so that will compensates largely for the cyanosis complete surgical uh, repair is possible but if the child is born with some other anomalies like cr dilated bronchial arteries 
complete surgical repair uh, may be futile. Let's go for a quick recap. Tetralogy of palate is having pulmonary stenosis, ventricular septum defect, overriding of aorta, right ventricular hypertrophy. Chest X-ray reveals boot-shaped heart. Diamond-shaped murmur is auscultated. Physical exercises, crying, accentuates the cyanosis, whereas squatting position alleviates the cyanosis. Compensatory uh, left to right shunt may be seen in uh, some of the children. Surgical repair is uh, indicated and prolongs the survival of the child. So thank you. Thank you for the patient hearing. See you all in the next uh, video. Give your valuable uh, uh, feedback and please uh, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.